Welcome to this short presentation about the NWA Northwest Evaluation Association, or B, we call it BMAP in Brunson for the Brunson Measures of Academic Progress. We've been using this assist assessment since 2003, and this is a longitudinal uh, study of up to the year 2011 for the spring uh, scores of the NWA. My name is Mark Heefner. I'm the principal at Ryan Elementary School and Chicago Street School. This here shows the mathematics structures of the NWA assessment for grades 2 through 5. Uh, these measurable goal areas align with the current grade level content expectations for the state of Michigan. Numbers and operations, algebra, uh, measurement, geometry, and data and probability. Uh, each student receives about anywhere from 7 to 8 questions on each one of these measurable goal areas. And here is, the, here is the graph that represents uh, the work of the second graders in our school district for Bronson Community Schools. The Anderson Spring Math RIT scores. RIT is a measurement of, uh, of learning. It's, it's uh, named after the Reich. Uh, Reich was a psychometrician, a Reich unit of measure of learning. And back in 19, or 2003, our RIT score was 185.5 on the mean. And then over the years, looking at the bottom 2003 through 2011, uh, you can see the average mean scores for the spring. And then a trend line is laid in uh, over the top of those scores. And you can see the, the past four years, the uh, second graders have scored above the national norm, which is the uh, pink color line. Uh, the green bar on the left hand says this is progress, and we have a very good trend line developing from our second grade math work. And then this is the reading measurable goal areas, word recognition, word study fluency, narrative text, informational text, and comprehension and metacognition. And here is the second grade reading, spring reading writ scores. These are average scores or mean scores. Uh, once again, the 2011 national norm line is there, and we see the blue line that represents our spring scores of our second graders. Twice they've been above the 2011 national norm in the year 2008 and also in the 2010, but a well-established trend line shows progress working with reading in our second grades from Anderson Elementary. And language usage is also assessed on the NWA writing genre, writing process, grammar and usage. Grammar and usage, well one area is gram grammatical structures and the other one punctuation and capitalization. And also spelling is also assessed in five measurable goal areas in the language usage. You know, we do want to note the NWEA or the RBMAP assessment is a computer adaptive assessment. It's done on the computer. And um, these are uh, true and false, not, no, excuse me, not true and false, but multiple choice questions. And uh, it's not performance based. And truly the best way to, to assess writing is by uh, performance based practices. But here's our language usage trend line from 2003 to 2011. And it's noted once again we have four data points above the uh, national norm of the 2011 national norm assessment, our national norming process. Uh, a very nice uh, trend line, and uh, we want to see those scores staying above the national norm averages. That's the end of our slide. Thank you very much for uh, listening to me.